Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about some of the actors we can pull over from this window right here. So we have our basic shapes, so we can bring in this cube, we can bring in a sphere, we can bring in a cylinder. But if you want to get a little more creative, and these aren't cutting it for you, we're going to want to use the geometry. So there's two ways you can add in these geometry features. You can do an additive mode or you can do a subtractive mode. So we'll start with additive mode and we're going to bring in, let's start with this box. All right, let's make it really tall and we're gonna make like a hallway kind of thing. Great, that's really tall. Okay, we'll bring this to the floor. Actually, I'm going to go ahead, let's have some fun. I'm going to get rid of these guys. And we'll make a super long hallway. Great. Good enough, okay. So we have this hallway. So I wanna go ahead and make a path to walk through. So we're going to do a subtractive one and let's do a cylinder. Okay, so subtractive, if I bring this into, you can see it's actually taking mass away from our additive models. So let's see if we can make this hallway. So I'm gonna rotate this this way. Okay, and let's bring this over so we can fit this nicely. And we'll make this much skinnier. And we can make you a little bit skinnier. That'll be fine. And we'll do that. Oh. And okay. Now we have to make this very, very long. Actually, I'm make this a little bit taller. Yeah. Cool. And great. longer than it needs to be, but that's okay. All right, and now I have this like weird hallway thing. I'm gonna make this a bit bigger. Maybe like 0.33, yeah, that works. All right, and now I have this weird hallway thing. So if I select both of these, so control click, I want to create a static mesh. So these basic shapes, these are static meshes. These geometry shapes are called brushes with the box being an additive brush and the cylinder being a subtractive brush. We want to, as a way to interact with them in Unreal, the brushes just serve as templates, as placeholders to really be able to unlock all the features of Unreal, we want to make them static mesh. So we're gonna go ahead and select static mesh. It's going to create a new mesh. We'll just stick it in the content folder for now. And we'll call this long hallway. And we'll create that static mesh. And now I have this really long hallway thing. And for a little bit of fun, we'll give this a material. So if I go and look at my materials, I have a lot to choose from from the starter content. This might be fun. So I'll just put that over there. Um, I don't love that. Let's try this one. Oh, that's cool. And if I hit play, I'm now inside this really cool long hallway that I can move through a little bit. Exciting. 
So that's how we can use geometry to create unique shapes and then convert them into static meshes so we can do fun things like add materials. We can also further edit some of this geometry with the brush editing mode. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the size of this floor so we have a little more space here. Okay, sure. And I'm gonna bring over a box. So if I drag a brush with a material already selected, you'll see that it keeps the same material. Now, once I start editing it, it's going to mess up that material, but that's why we'll convert it to a static mesh later. So I have this box as a geometry brush and I want to make it into something a little more interesting. So if I go to modes, I can select brush editing. And now I can select either a face, an edge, or a vertice and manipulate it. So I'm going to take this corner and bring it up like that. And you can see I've already broken the material here. And I'm going to just keep breaking it. And then we can edit this and we'll make this weird shape. I don't know what this is. And we'll take that corner. There we go. And then I could take this face and I could rotate it. And I could take this face and I can bring it out so we can extrude this. And make that weird shape. Cool. All right, so now I have this like very interesting, I'll say unique shape. And what we can do, just like our hallway here, is we are going to go ahead and make this a static mesh. And we'll call this like a fun shape. Cool. And really what I should do is make a new folder called static meshes and bring them here. And then if I go into my materials, we can give this a material and let's do, I don't know, let's do this metal. Oh, where'd you go? And we'll get metal. Okay, great. Um, let's actually do gold. Cool. And now I have this like fun gold shape. So I'm in this cool water hallway. And then we can also go over and I have this like really cool gold shape kind of hanging out with its unique features. So geometry and brush editing is an excellent way to start crafting some more fun shapes to deal with, make things a little more interesting and just make sure you always convert them to a static mesh.